Hey there, YouTubers. It's Don from True Cable coming back at you again.、Uh, today we're going to talk about very basic home networking setup. I'm going to present two scenarios:、uh, one with an all-in-one、uh, cable modem router combo, and then I'm going to、uh, make like it's also just simply a cable modem, a really basic one. And we'll use a small Ethernet switch as a prop as well. And we'll go through various scenarios for hooking stuff up and making sure that all the connections are proper. Depending on what you're actually doing, so definitely hang around. I will be back, and we're gonna get into a lighted box situation where you can actually see me making connections. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. Okay, so the process of hooking a cable modem into your small Ethernet switch to essentially make yourself a wired network is actually quite simple. Um, so we're going to assume that you've got some coaxial cable, and when you've got your、uh, cable modem, I would recommend you have it unplugged to begin with.、Uh, you can put in your RG6 coaxial cable, and then this F connector connects into the back of it, like so. It might take you a couple of tries to get it threaded on there, and hand tighten, and then if you wish. You can use a seven sixteenths inch wrench to tighten it a little bit more, but do not over tighten, otherwise you could damage、uh, this female port here. And then once、uh, your cable is hooked up, again don't plug it in yet.、Uh, then the next thing you want to do is plug in an Ethernet cable、uh, to the Ethernet port on your cable modem. So just really plug it in there. And then this is a Ethernet switch, but we're going to play like it's a router, a wired router, and we'll call port number one the WAN port. So that's how it would be labeled on a router, a wired router. It would say WAN. So we're going to play like it's a four-port switch with a one WAN port router here. So you would then plug your、uh, Ethernet here into your little WAN port there on your router. And then you've got these four switch ports available, and then you take your another Ethernet cable, you plug it into any one of those ports. They're all equal, and then you can connect in your TV with this cable. Plug another cable in and connect in your computer. Use a number three here and plug in your Xbox, and there you go. So, that, but after you get all these connections made, the sequence of powering it up is plug in your power to your cable modem. And give it about three minutes for it to come、uh, fully up. And after that's done, then plug in your router. And then it's going to take a couple, three minutes to boot and kind of find out where everything's at. And then your system should be ready to go. On the first one, we showed you、uh, the cable modem was just simply a, a, a dumb cable modem. It doesn't do anything other than be a cable modem. It doesn't have a a Wi-Fi access point or the routing or a switch built into it. So now we're going to play like、uh, this is an all-in-one cable modem device, something that you're renting each month, and it actually puts out a Wi-Fi signal, and it's got a four-port switch on the back here, and、um, this one's only got the one Ethernet port because it's just a cable modem. But let's assume that this is an all-in-one thing, which it would be bigger, but same idea. So you've got your coaxial cable plugged in, or sorry, screwed into the back of this、uh, cable modem, and then let's assume that there's a four-port switch here, and so the cable modem is in fact doing the routing. Okay, so this is just a dumb Ethernet switch; it doesn't do any routing at all. It's just used kind of like、uh, a way to extend your network, which is exactly what we're going to do. So in that case, it, the, it's actually even simpler because the routing and everything else is being done here, so you don't need to worry about. Which ports you might use here. In the previous example, this was WAN port, and these four ports here were switch ports. In this case, we're just going to use any one of the four switch ports that'll be back here on the all-in-one device. We'll plug in an Ethernet cable to any one any one of those four ports, and then you can pick any port you like anywhere on this device here. Plug it right in, and now you can use these additional four ports to plug in. Whatever you want. So now、uh, this this port here is being used to connect into this switch. So basically, you've daisy chained one switch to another switch. And if you still have three more switch ports available back here, you can use those as well. So now you've got three ports you can use back here, and another four ports you can use right out here. So、uh, 
that that's an, that's a, the second way that you might see in a typical home situation that this would be uh, done. So if uh, you found that useful, please leave a, uh, a thumbs up or a thumbs down as you see fit. Subscribe to our channel, uh, ring that notification bell, leave a comment below, and uh, go to our website, truecable.com, visit our Cable Academy. And with that, I'm going to say you have a great day. Happy networking.